Boxing fans, Miguel Maravilla here, bringing you a preview of the super middleweight showdown between Tijuana's own Jaime Munguia and England's John Ryder. This is going to be a fan-friendly fight. You got two styles. They like clashing. They like going forward. Um, they they like to battle. They have been in some tough battles themselves. Both are coming off uh, tough fights. You know, it's um, it's brawler versus brawler, pretty much. This is a uh, definitely going to be a uh, early candidate to start off 2024 for fight of the year. Trust me on this one. The styles, they're meant for each other. And um, these guys like to engage. They, they don't back down. So you are looking at a early fight for 2024 fight of the year. Trust me on that. Take a look. Saturday, January 27th from the Footprint Center in Phoenix, Arizona. It is Jaime Munguia versus John Ryder with a uh, 32 and six record with 18 knockouts from London, England. He uh, came up short in his uh, title shot in uh, dropping a unanimous decision to uh, Kayla Smith. That uh, fight took place back in uh, 2019. Since then, he's been on a, he, he was on a four fight win streak. Um, including a split decision over uh, former world champion Daniel Jacobs, which earned him a shot at uh, boxing superstar Saul Canelo Alvarez and dropped a uh, unanimous decision, but um, you know, hung in there against uh, boxing's best. Now um, he gets a shot at Jaime Munguia. Munguia with a record of 42 and 0, 33 knockouts, undefeated from the fighting town of Tijuana, Mexico. He uh, has been matched up well since his breakthrough win when he knocked out Saddam Ali to win the WBO Super Welterweight title. That taking place uh, back in 2018. Hiling wins versus uh, gatekeepers and overmatch competition. With the need to step up, he took on Sergey Dervinchenko early this year. Uh, Dervinchenko, as tough as they get, he was in with uh, Golovkin, Ramal Charlo, Daniel Jacobs, Carlos Adame. In uh, a tough fight, it was a battle as he won a uh, split decision in a fight in which he uh, basically had to rally and the last round knockdown is what sealed the deal for him. Uh, securing him the decision as Dervinchenko was uh, Munguia's toughest fight to date. Now he uh, comes in against another tough fighter in John Ryder. This is not going to be an easy fight for either. It's not going to be an easy fight for Munguia, which uh, there are some big plans on the horizon for him after this one, trust me. But he's going to have to come in well prepared for this one. As mentioned, he has been working with Freddie Roach, uh, offensive coach in this one. He um, definitely uh, has a lot going his way. Uh, in this fight, he's, again, he's going to have to come in well prepared against a John Ryder and if um, let's say he does make a statement let's say he does get that stoppage KO win that Canelo couldn't well we shall see what transpires in May but for now again in this fight I, I just see um, Munguia winning it. Uh, it it's not going to be easy it, it's going to be a battle and if he proves us wrong wow um, just can't wait for me. I'll just say that.